All right, third graders, we are going to do some math today. So please get out 10.6 in your math work pages. We're going to be talking about equivalent fractions. So just like yesterday, we talked about equivalent fractions, and I told you that equivalent means equal or the same. So two equivalent fractions would be the same amount. If you want to enter this into your super book, that would be a really good idea so that you have these notes available to you. I want you to repeat after me. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. I know it might seem weird, but go ahead and repeat after me. It makes a difference. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. This is going to be our key mantra for when we learn equivalent fractions. So let's review really quickly about fractions. Remember when we talked about Pac-Man, how he eats the slices of pizza? The top number of a fraction represents those pieces. I get two pieces, four pieces, and six pieces. The bottom of a fraction represents how many people come to my party. Yay, I get to have a whole pizza shared between me and a friend. Or, eh, now I have to share with six people. Or, boo, now I have to share with 12 people. As the bottom number of a fraction grows, the fraction actually gets smaller. So, when we want to make an equivalent fraction, you have to realize that we have to grow or shrink the top number and the bottom number equally. So again, we're going back to this. I want you to say it with me. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. I don't know if you're saying it loud enough because I can't even hear you. So say it again. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Now, I want to share with you because this worth page right here is pretty confusing. Your page and the way that your book teaches you this page is absolutely confusing. So if you don't listen to the way I teach you, you might be looking down at your page like this. So please, trust me, do it my way, and let's play a game. Here's how the game goes. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So let's take a look at these bottom two numbers and their relationship. Answer me this question. What's going on with number three? In order to get to a nine, how many times would it need to be multiplied? Three times what equals nine? Hopefully you all said three, and this is the game we're playing. And then whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top, exactly. So you're gonna multiply this number by three as well. So whatever I did to the bottom, I'm doing to the top, and two times three is six. My answer is six ninths. It's as easy as that. Let's play again. New one. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So five times what gives me 10? Hmm, I'm gonna say two. And whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Two times two is four. And my equivalent fraction would be four tenths. So as you look through your math page, I ask you to play this game every time you see it. And in fact, if you're paying attention, I'm going to let you skip to number four. You can skip all the craziness that this math page wants you to read through and go directly to number four and play my game. Good luck and ask me any questions on our next Zoom if you have problems.